Hi, welcome to SPAL.com. My name is Sandy Powell, and I'm here to walk you through the buying process. And I want you to know as a buyer's agent, I'm working for you and you only, and your interest is most important. Now the seller will take care of my money on my side, and so really, there's no money out of your pocket. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is step one, let's push the easy button. Once we push the easy button, we're going to scan through all the homes. And when you find the homes that you want to see, we get to go to step two. And step two is you're going to contact me, let me know the homes that you want to see, and we get to go shopping. I love to shop. So that's always fun. So we go through all the homes, we look at all the homes, and we find the one that best fits your needs. And once we find that home, we get to go to step three. Now step three is we get to go to the office and we're going to write a contract. Now the contracts, they uh, vary from time to time and they're modified and we have a lot of addendums. And what I'm fixing to go through is a lot real quick and real fast. But when we're in the office together, we'll take our times. You want to call me anytime and ask me any questions, we'll take hours and hours. It's not a problem because it's quite a bit. And once you buy a home, you own the home forever. You don't want to, you know, it's not like a dress you can take back. So we got to make sure you understand everything. Any questions, call me. And what we're going to start with first, of course, is we're going to fill out the contract. And we have an eight-page contract as of now. And we're going to put the price that we're going to offer. And there's also what we call closing costs and there's down payment. Now your closing costs and down payment are two different things. Your down payment is what you're going to put down. On FHA loans, it's like 3%. Conventional loans, it's like 5%. VAs vary. And so it kind of depends on which kind of a loan that we're going to get from a mortgage company or a bank. Now if you're paying cash, of course, it's going to be totally different. Again, I'll explain all those things and everyone's going to be different. So it depends on your needs, what we need to do for you. Okay, also what we're going to do is we're going to put the, the offer on here. We'll go ahead and, and go there. Then we're going to go to the earnest money. I'm going to ask for two checks. Uh, one's going to be earnest money. It goes to the title company. And one check is going to be for an option period, which I am going to explain to you also further on. So we'll have two checks that we'll need for you. And then we're going to go ahead and have the um, title company. We're going to ask for them to do a title search. This is once we get the contract accepted, it's taken to the title company. Okay, we're going to also fill out forms such as surveys, and a survey is basically what the boundaries are of your home, um, where the land square footage is. It tells you, you know, where your home, what you own, what you don't own, and uh, so we're going to go through that. If uh, the seller has like a existing survey, we'll use theirs, and it saves us money. And anytime I can save you money, I'm going to save you money. And so we can use the existing one. We'll use the existing one, and then we're going to move on. We're going to go ahead and if there's a homeowners association with this particular subdivision, we'll have to fill out a form for that. And so and we'll go ahead and we'll get the requirements for that as well so you'll know, you know what to expect in that subdivision if there is an HOA. Not everyone has those. Um, also, we're going to go ahead and ask for a seller's disclosure. A seller's disclosure is something from the seller that tells us everything they know about the home, everything they've done to the home, and it lets us kind of know ahead of time if there's any issues or if they have been fixed, how old the roof is. Whatever they know, they have to disclose to us. And I'll get that form before we even fill out the contract. We'll ask for that as well so you can look over that. Then we also have what we call a residential service contract. Now, a residential service contract is a contract that, it's kind of like an insurance policy. We're going to ask the seller again to pay for that. And we're going to say, please give us one. It's kind of like an insurance policy for a year. And you move in a couple months later, your water heater breaks. You call this company. You pay a service fee. They come in and they fix it. If they can fix it, great. You only have to pay the service fee. But if they can't fix it, then they have to replace it. And every company is different and every situation is different. So we'll have to read the fine lines on those homeowners policies. But it is a nice thing to have. And again, I'm going to ask the seller to purchase that for us so it doesn't cost you anything and you'll still have that insurance policy. We also got to decide what kind of closing date we're looking for. We want to move immediately or do we have 30 days? Usually it's 30 to 45 days and 30 days is pretty average. Uh, it gives the mortgage time, uh, the mortgage company time to get their paperwork. It gives the title company time to check the title policy and all that fun stuff. So we'll go through that. Okay, and then we also have what we call possession. Now everybody says, okay, I want to go sign the papers and we're ready to go. We want our keys now. We have to wait till the seller signs, the buyer signs, and then the mortgage company, the title company say the word funded. And once they say that, everybody's got their money and everything's done, then we get the keys and we get to move in, which is always a lot of fun. Um, as we go through this uh, contract again, there's different things such as um, Closing cost. If we don't have enough money for closing costs, sometimes, not all the time, we can ask the seller to pay parts of our closing costs. 
There is a percentage they can pay. They're not allowed to pay some and they are allowed to pay others. Again, if you're in that situation, I'll go through that with you at that time. Um, let's see what else we have here. Termination option P is very important. Um, you have to do inspections on your home and you really don't have to, but I'll break your arm if you don't because you have to get it done. It's very important because you want to make sure you're buying a home that's not what we call a money pit or doesn't have a lot of repairs unless you're ready to do those repairs. And so we say, hey seller, we're going to give you X amount of dollars. We're going to say, here, here's X amount of dollars. Uh, we want to do so many days of inspections. We do all the inspections. We love the home. We're excited. Everything's great. Then we go ahead and we'll apply that toward our closing costs, the money that we gave them. But let's say that we found out a lot of things about the house during the inspection that we really didn't know about and we don't want that home. Well then, okay, we walk away. We say, you keep that, that money, whatever X amount of dollars was, $50, $100, whatever it was, you keep that seller and we're going to walk away, take our earnest money and we're going to find another home. And we have to do this to protect ourselves. So it's very important that we do all the inspections necessary and again, I'll go over that with you in more detail. It's kind of fast, it's kind of quick. I'm going through this just to kind of give you a summary, kind of an updated thing for you. There's also what we call third party financing. Third party financing is the mortgage company, the banker, whoever you're going to use to borrow money from and they'll tell us FHA conventional FA, what the percentage is, what your rate is, how many years you're going to do that, and I'll have to fill that out as well. And again, I'll help you with all that process. Then there's going to be a lot of addendums for your protection, get a home inspection, and uh, different addendums that we're going to have to fill out throughout, just depending on the situation, because every seller and every buyer is going to be different. But I'm going to be here for you. I'm going to take care of you, and we're going to get everything done. And if you have any questions whatsoever, you can call me at any time. Uh, again, my number is 361-765-3405.